found in the description box below of this video. Let's get started. Spirit, how does Capricorn feel about Taurus? How does Capricorn feel about Taurus, please? How does Capricorn feel about Taurus? They view you as the star, so they know that you have potential. I feel like they are very hopeful that something's going to work out for you. This person is rooting for you as well. I feel like they admire something about you. They're attracted to it. I feel like a lot of it has to do with your creativity and whatever you're working on that's getting you attention. They like what they see. Tell me more. Talk to me about how Capricorn feels about Taurus. We have the moon card. Okay, I feel like they're into you more than they tell you. They could be hiding how they really feel. Okay, so even though they have all of these positive emotions for you, I feel like you don't get a lot of that from them. Like in person, Taurus, I feel like you may not get a lot of compliments from Capricorn or something like that, but at the end of the day, you can feel that they admire something about you. They're low key about something, or maybe that's their personality, just someone that is not a loud mouth. I don't feel like this person is an individual that's an attention seeker. I don't feel them like that. I just, I feel that privacy is very important to Capricorn here, especially when it comes to you. How does Capricorn feel about Taurus? Tell me more. Okay. The Four of Swords energy. They have a lot of ideas when it comes to something that has to do with you. You make them want to be creative. It's like they're watching something in you and you're giving them more ideas. If this is about a separation or an intimate connection that Capricorn has with a Taurus, Capricorn would like a new opportunity because the star is here and they think about it a lot, even if they're not telling you, okay? If this is about a friendship, they feel more about you than they tell you. And I feel like Capricorn is impressed with you in a lot of ways and that you give them ideas. That's what I'm getting. It's like they look at what you're doing and they're like, how can I find a way to create something similar because of what Taurus is doing now I've opened up my mind to a, a different avenue of making money or of monetizing something, you know, something like that. They're very inspired by you, Taurus, is what I'm getting. Tell me more. How does Capricorn feel? Very attentive to what you're up to, Taurus. Okay, with the Page of Swords energy. Checking you out, looking at your stuff. Wanting to know what you're up to, what you're into. They still have their eyes on you. Their mind is on you. Tell me more about Capricorn. Okay, so I feel like if this is about a love connection, they would say that 
you could be a bit controlling at times and you want to be the emperor all the time. And so that's the only thing that they really can't deal with. And the reason why that's such a challenge for Capricorn is because, you know, they're usually the ones that like to be the managers, the bosses, the leaders, the ones in charge, right? Because Capricorn season, it's a cardinal sign. So they set off the winter. They introduce that whole season to us. So Capricorn is used to being in an authoritative position, in a position of power. And so they feel, Taurus, that sometimes you can challenge them with that. Now let's talk about how Taurus feels about Capricorn. Okay. All right, so there's something that really hurts you about the connection with Capricorn. You have a soft spot for Capricorn energy. I feel like you too have a lot of faith or potential in what Capricorn can become or where they're headed. I feel like this is a strong connection that you've had with Capricorn. If you and Capricorn have met, if not, if you're just inquiring about Taurus and Capricorn, it's a pretty good match, I would say. It's just, we have two alphas in this energy. It's kind of like Taurus and Sagittarius, where it's two alpha energies. And I feel like with Capricorn, it's kind of the same type of energy that I'm feeling where Capricorn views you as always trying to be in charge when they like to be in charge. So that's where you guys get into it. But I feel like Taurus is willing to compromise in some way with Capricorn. Talk to me, all right. Yeah, Taurus wants to give to Capricorn with no problem is what I'm feeling. Tell me more. You're willing to travel to Capricorn. Perhaps you're silent about that, Taurus. I don't know if you're expressing the fact that you want to give more to Capricorn. Regardless of how they feel, you feel like you can convince Capricorn. That's what I'm getting here. And you may be very private about the fact that you want to connect with Capricorn or that you want to reconnect or that you're interested. Perhaps this is someone that doesn't know that you're interested in them like that when you really are, depending on who it is that's watching. What's the potential of Taurus and Capricorn for the next week? What's the potential, please? Very nice. The Nine of Cups. So it seems like things are going to balance themselves out here between you and Capricorn. You could have a dream in common here or a passion in common. Page of Swords. We got two Page of Swords energies coming out here. You're both watching each other, okay? <laughs> Look at that. You're both doing the same thing. All right, so that's what I have for you, Taurus and Capricorn. To book a private session, all of that info is below. Take care.